The public sector business of Verizon has received a $15 million task order from the U.S. Navy via the Enterprise Infrastructure Solutions contract vehicle to provide voice and data services in support of the morale, welfare and recreation program. Emasec has booked an approximately $83 million task order from the U.S. Air Force to perform cyber-related services at Joint Base San Antonio Lackland and Scott Air Force Base. Jim Blastos, formerly Vice President of Global Supply Chain at Autocar Trucks, has been named VP of Supply Chain Management at Austell USA. The National Reconnaissance Office awarded Strategic Commercial Enhancements contracts for Electro-Optical Technologies to Airbus U.S. Space and Defense Business, Albedo Space, Luxembourg-based Hydrosat, Muon Space, and Turian Space. Defense contractor Aerovironment has added retired four-star U.S. Army General Joseph Vettel to its board of directors. Lockheed Martin has concluded a guided flight test of the medium-range version of its joint air-to-ground missile system at China Lake Test Range in California. DARPA has selected 14 companies for a seven-month capability study that seeks to develop technology concepts to advance the development of an integrated, multi-service commercial lunar infrastructure. Bechtel has poured molten test glass into the first stainless steel storage container designed to hold vitrified radioactive and chemical waste at a nuclear waste treatment facility at the Hanford site in Washington. Join Potomac Officers Club's 2024 Space Summit on March 5, 2024. Visit potomacofficersclub.com slash events. Leo Labs and Illyria will combine their technology platforms to address space awareness challenges facing government and commercial communications networks across ground, air, sea and space under a partnership agreement. Gecko Robotics announced raising $100 million from the extension of its Series C funding round in addition to the $73 million it had already received.